things to do. People to meet. We've got the whole world at our feet. At Tinker Villa. Tinker Villa. It's a wonderful place to be. Hello. Hello. And welcome to Tinker Villa. Now, I've been collecting some boxes. Big boxes and small boxes, because we're sorting out Tamba's toys and we need to tidy them away. Um, Tamba, I've got the boxes. Ah, oh, thanks, Simon. Hmm, hello. Look at all these. I've got big toys and little toys and they're all jumbled up. Will you help me to sort them out? Right, here hmm. we are. Now then. Big box ah. and small box. Now, which toys go in which box? Hmm. Let's have a look. We've got a teapot here. Huh. Where do you think that should go? Big well, box it's a or small box? Big toy, isn't it? Yes. I think it might go in a big box. I think it'll fit. Do you Let's think see. it'll fit? Let's have a look. Oh, yes. You're right. That goes in the big box. Oh, there's another big toy here as well. It's your beach ball. Ah, oh, well, it won't go in the small box, will it? Don't think so. Um, better try the big box. Let's try it and we'll squeeze it in and push it in there. Oh, yes, that fits as well. Oh, look, there's some toy animals here. Which box do you think they should go in, big or small? Ah, they're very small. Mm, shall we put them in the small box? I think they'll fit in the small box and they'll be nice and cosy together there as well, won't they? Yeah. Put them in there and... Mm. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there's a big, fluffy dog. Which box do you think this should go into? Mm. Will he fit in the small box? <laughs> we can try. Let's <laughs> try and... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think he's going to fit in the small no. box. Let's try and squeeze him into the big box. There he goes. Ah. There. Yeah. Right. Oh, and look, there's a car. And there's your toy helicopter, Tamba. Oh, yeah. Where should they go? I think the small box. Do you think mm. the small box as well? Let's try and put them in there. Yes, small toys in the small, small box. box. There we are. That's Great. all the toys sorted. But, Simon... What about these toys? Mm. They're too big for the small box and they're too small for the big box. They're in the middle. You're right, Tamba. Mm. Will this box do, Tamba? It's a middle-sized box. Lovely. Oh, let's see. Well, mm. Let's see if middle-sized Ted, do you fit in there? Yes, I do. Yeah. Good. <laughs> in he goes. And we can put this toy will fit in. That oh, way. What about and this? Is your Tamba. shower cap? Tamba. Will that fit into? <laughs> yes, yeah. there we go. We've got the big toys in the big box. We've got the middle sized toys in the middle box. And we've got the small toys in the small box. Great. And I should go in the small box too, because <laughs> I'm the littlest. Oh, well, you're the littlest now, Tamba. But if I were this size, You'd seem huge to me. <laughs> and although I am taller than both of you, next to the Tickabilla house, <laughs> I feel quite small. <laughs> Being big or small depends on what you're looking at. Hmm. Which do you think is small? A mouse. And which do you think is taller? A bungalow or a house? A house. And which out of these two is wider? A fat bumblebee or a flea? It's, it's a, a bee. bee. And who? I 
hippopotamus can make me look skinny. And that stick insect makes me look fat. Oh, well, our size depends on what we're looking at. We're looking at. at. Well, sometimes I feel big. And sometimes I feel small. Sometimes I feel short And then at other times I'm tall When I look around at my natural habitat I can see that my size Depends on what I'm looking at Yeah, 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 yeah Which do you think is smaller? You are the moon in the sky And which do you think is taller? You are a sweet butterfly. And which out of these three is bigger? Me or you or a cat? Oh, well, our size depends on what we're losing. Sometimes I feel big And sometimes I feel small Sometimes I feel short And then at other times I'm tall When I look around at my natural habitat I can see that my size depends on what I'm looking at Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> So you see, Tamba, no matter how tiny you feel, there's always something smaller than you <laughs> Now, there are some very small people in our story today. Should we have a look at the clock? Come on, then. Tickabilla, tockabilla, tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the tickabilla clock? Well, the long hand is pointing towards the number 12. Do you know what that means? That means... It's something a clock. And the short hand is pointing up to the 12 as well. So the clock says it's 12 o'clock. And in our story, strange things happen at 12 o'clock in the night. And what's underneath the clock? Two small jackets <laughs> and two small pairs of boots. And today's story is called The Elves and the Shoemaker. Once upon a time, there was a shoemaker. That's me! I'm the shoemaker and I make shoes. <laughs> the shoemaker worked very hard all day long. <sighs> he worked much harder than that, Tamba. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, no matter how many pairs of shoes the shoemaker made, he couldn't earn enough money to make a living. <sighs> Finally, the day came when all he had left in his workshop was one small piece of leather. Oh, I know. I'll set this leather out tonight and make it into a pair of shoes in the morning. And with that, the shoemaker went to bed without any supper. And even though he was poor and hungry, the kind shoemaker always remained cheerful. Ah, oh, well, look on the bright side. There are people much worse off than me. And who knows, things might look better in the morning. <sighs> when the shoemaker woke up, to his astonishment, on the work table stood a fine pair of shoes, <sighs> already made and sewn. <gasps> What a fine pair of shoes! But who could have made them? <laughs> At that oh. moment, a very fine gentleman entered the workshop. Oh! What a splendiferous pair of shoes! I simply must have them. I'll pay you twice as much as they're worth. Oh, thank <laughs> okay. You. Oh, wowie! I've got enough money here to get some dinner. And to buy two 
pieces of leather. <laughs> so that night, the shoemaker put out two pieces of leather. And when he woke up in the morning... <gasps> wow, there's two pairs of lovely shoes. Just then, a beautiful princess happened by. Oh, excuse me, little purple shoemaker. <laughs> I was wondering if these shoes were for sale. Mm. They're brilliant, aren't they? I'll give you loads of money for them. Oh, thanks. Oh, <gasps> oh wowie. Now I've got enough money for dinner, pudding, and some left over for four pieces of leather. <laughs> every night, the shoemaker left out some pieces of leather, and every morning, there were lots of pairs of lovely shoes. The shoemaker became very well known and very wealthy. Then, one cold night... Guess what? Tonight, I'm going to keep awake and hide so I can find out who keeps making these shoes for me. Hmm. And with that, the shoemaker left out some leather and then hid in the shadows. Then, at 12 o'clock in the night, two tiny elves crept into the workshop. <laughs> through the cold, through the night, let us work till early light. <laughs> they took the pieces of leather and started to work. Sew so and stitch, keep awake until a pair of shoes we make. <laughs> the shoemaker watched them hour after hour as they worked right through the night until he fell asleep. <sighs> When the shoemaker woke up, there were four pairs of beautiful shoes. Ah, oh, so those tiny elves are the ones making the shoes for me. Wowee! <laughs> but didn't they look cold in their little vests and pants? Hmm, if only there was something I could do to help. <gasps> I know! <laughs> and with that, the shoemaker set to work. He made two tiny jackets and two tiny pairs of boots that were snug and warm. And that night, he left the coats and the boots on the worktop and hid in the shadows to watch. Shh. And sure enough, at exactly 12 o'clock in the night, the two little elves crept in once more. <laughs> <laughs> when they saw the jackets and boots, they jumped for joy. <laughs> and with their warm coats on and their snug boots, the tiny elves danced out of the workshop and were never seen again. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Wowee! And from that day on, the shoemaker was happy and contented and made the finest shoes in all the land. But however wealthy the shoemaker became, he never forgot the two tiny elves. Bye-bye, kind and clever elves. <laughs> the, the end! end. <laughs> well done, Tamba. Very you were good. Great shoemaker, Tamba. <laughs> <laughs> The elves aren't the only ones who are good at making things. I wonder what Bonnie, Banana and Mo are up to. Bonnie? Banana? <laughs> and Mo? Bonnie, Banana and Mo?
There was a lot of traffic in Bonnie Banana and Mo, wasn't there? What would you drive if you could? A uh, sports car? <coughs> or a motorbike? <coughs> would you like to drive a tractor? Because I'd love to drive a tractor, one with great big knobbly wheels on the back. I know. Let's pretend to drive a tractor right now. Come on, sit up in your tractor seat and turn the engine on. You can make a good tractor sound with your mouth. Take the handbrake off, grab hold of the steering wheel, put the pedal down and we're off. Oh, it's a bit bumpy, isn't it? Let's go to the top of the hill. Are you doing it? Right. We're there. That's lovely here, isn't it? There's lots of sheep. Hello. Lots of cows and a lovely view. What else would you like to drive? Oh, how about a fire engine? Come on, we'll drive a fire engine. First of all, the alarm bell goes off. Ding, 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 ding. Put on the fireman's helmet and the boots and get into the cab for a drive. Now, fire engines don't go na 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 anymore, do they? They go sort of wee 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 wee. wee. <whistles> <whistles> <laughs> they do, so that everyone knows that they're coming. Come on, here we go. Wee, 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 wee. Are you joining in? <laughs> Is there any emergency here? Oh, no, thank you, Simon. Right. We'll carry on. <laughs> <laughs> that fire engine made a great sound. Now, I thought we'd make something else with a great sound. See if you can guess what it is. Now, we're going to do a picture. And to make our picture, I've got lots and lots of different shapes. Here, I've got a rectangle shape. Now, a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. Um, I've also got a square, there we go, and a square has four sides all the same length. What other shapes can you see? Of course, we've got some circles. Now these are really shiny circles, look at that beautiful circle. And I've got a triangle. Now, a triangle has three sides. There we go. And there's our triangle. Now, see if you can guess what I'm making a picture of. Now, the first thing we're going to use is our rectangle shape. Now, over here, I've got a sponge with water on it. And if I put that right there in the middle of our paper, right, now we need a small rectangle. There we go. And if I dip that into our water and put that on the top of our big rectangle. Right, so we've used two rectangles so far. Hmm. How about some triangles? We've got two triangles here. And if I dip those into our water, and one goes on that side, like that. Oh, a bit straighter than that. There we go. And one goes on this side. There we go. Right, now, 
let's see oh you know what i think we need some more rectangles and i've got two light blue rectangles here and if i put those onto our water and one rectangle goes here and one rectangle goes there there we go and i've got over here a small rectangle a little silver one and i'm going to put that on the top of our picture like that hey it looks a little bit like the ticker Billa house <laughs> But not for long. We've got some more shapes to put on. We've got two squares that we can use. Now, if I put them on our sponge. Now, all my paper that I'm using has got sticky glue on the back. So it helps me to stick them down really easily when I put them in the water. Okay, and there's our square. There we go. There's our square. Now, what do you think that could be? Hmm. Well, maybe if we put our circles on, it might help. We've got two big silvery circles there. Let's dip those in our water. There we go. There's one there and one there now we've got our two small circles one red and one yellow dip those into our water one at the back and one at the front now have you guessed what this noisy vehicle is yet well maybe these Small strips might help, our little rectangle strips. If I collect those, and if I start putting a little bit of water on each of them. Now, what do you think would have a shiny light on the top like this? A last little strip. That's right, it's a police car <laughs> made of lots of different shapes. Aha! Yes, Tamba, there's some more over here. Some more what? Some more shapes, of course. Ooh. Do you know there are shapes everywhere, Lorna? You're right, Tamba, there are. Hmm. Look high and low for shapes that we know Triangles and circles and squares Look up and down, look all around There's shapes that we know everywhere Shape up, shape up, we're going on a shape hunt Shape up and follow me Shape up, shape up, we're going on a shape and shape up, what can I see? Look at its sides and count them with me. How many sides do you think there will be? One, two, three. One, two, three. There's a triangle here and a triangle there. Three-sided triangles are everywhere. <laughs> shape up, shape up, we're going on. Shape up, shape up and follow me. Shape up, shape up, we're going on a shape up, shape up, what can I see? Look at each sides and just like before, count all the sides just to make sure. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There's a square right here, there's a square over there. Four sided squares are everywhere. Shape up, shape up, we're going on a shape hunt. Shape up and follow me. Shape up, shape up, we're going on a shape hunt. Shape up, what can I see? Aha! 
Look at its sides and look what I found. There's only one side and that goes right round, round and round, round and round. There's a circle right here and a circle over there. One-sided circles are everywhere. Shape up, shape up, we're going on a shape hunt. Shape up and look around. Shape up, shape up, and go on a shape hunt to see what shapes, what different shapes, what shapely shapes can be found. <laughs> Why don't you have a look at all the different shapes around you? Or you could pretend to drive your own fire engine. Come and see us again soon. Bye-bye. Take a mirror, take a mirror.